So how was it? Oh, it was quite informative. I now know what Nathaniel means. I know you have an IQ of 185. I know you have a book written about you. Yeah. Here, I signed it for you. Why don't you just tell me about this? People always change towards me after they read it, and I just wanted to make the phone part last. So you're scarily brilliant. I can handle that. What I can't handle is the way you keep mind-fucking me for your own personal entertainment, and that's starting to piss me off. Yeah, well, I'm sorry I'm not some well-behaved little nothing that never challenges you, because if that's what you're looking for, you can just leave right now. Are you trying to drive me away? Yeah, I'm trying to drive you away, Nate. It was my mother's idea that I not show up, which is fine by me, because I don't really enjoy their company. She said it was your idea. She would. She probably believes it, too, because she's fucking out of her mind. You could have warned me what I was walking into. You wouldn't have gone. I just want to get it all out of the way. That and the book, everything. I just felt like a fucking lab rat over there. Huh, that's what they do. Okay, I was six years old, I scored through the roof on some standardized, culturally biased test, and it becomes all about them. You know, they send me off to some strangers, academic fucks, I don't know, experts, and they start scrutinizing everything that I did, or said, or thought even. It is a fucking law of physics that the very act of observation changes that which is being observed. And now you're going to go read that book, and you're going to think that you know me. Yeah, well, you don't. So. Because you won't let me in. Okay, fine. What do you want to know? Ask me anything. Did you burn down that house we made love in? <laughs> you think I burned down the house? Well, what am I supposed to think? You put my brother and me in that bus that killed our father. You get weird phone calls from screaming people that you won't explain. And you want to make me feel stupid for being suspicious. Well, give me a fucking reason not to be. I just want to know what this is. Why you... Am I just some step along your way? No. Look. Look, we obviously have an intense sexual connection, and I want there to be something more than that. That's not going to happen until you trust me. Apparently you don't. Should I trust you?